Here's a guy that's taken a beating almost as much as Hugo has over the years. The money match with Leffen left Chillin with a lot of psychological trauma. It's actually tough for him to watch shows like The Wire or Cops, because they're constantly yelling out, 5-0, 5-0 is here, 5-0 everybody, it's really unfortunate. <laughs> People love to talk about how old Hugs is, but Taffo just turned 30, and Chillin' and Dunk are both 29. Vish is actually the only one born in the 90s. Yeah, unfortunately, based off the average life expectancy of Indians, he's gonna die way before them anyway. <laughs> H-Box himself, he proved that you can be both a successful melee player and a successful engineer. And Vish proved you don't need the successful part. <laughs> Some of you might not know, Tapo's Korean. His family lives in constant fear of a bombing from North Korea. Much like we live in constant fear of him bombing tonight. So why should you go out with my man hugs? <laughs> Just like his Sam is, he likes to take things slow and steady. So you know you get your time and money's worth. He'll start by buying you three shots right out the gate, or as he calls it, a neutral start. Your body doesn't make any sense to me, dude. You're about the same height as me, but for some reason you look like a life-size chode, and I just look normal. I don't get it. <laughs> you look like an Oompa Loompa that went to the gym for like three months and got like a $20 gift certificate at Ross. <laughs> um, no, really though, honestly, as a player, Vish is very underrated. I think he's legitimately one of the best commentators at actually playing Melee. I mean, aside from me, DJ Nintendo, Lovage, Brandon, <laughs> Toph, Tafo, Dunk, Phil, Scar. I think aside from that, Vish is probably the next best, honestly. That's, that's a pretty big accomplishment. Let's give it up. I know it was a tough road to find a good team, and you managed to find one that exclusively signs players from the Mango Extended Universe. Hugs, if you were any shorter, you'd be chilling dude's rap career. You look like someone dropped an anvil on an attractive person. I gotta address all of this, you know, Hugo stole, or Dunk stole Hugo's girl at blah, 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 blah. Cause I, I actually felt really bad. He's like, dude, you broke the bro code, like blah, blah, blah. He told me this years later and I was like, I don't remember it being that bad. So I hit this girl up, right? a couple of weeks ago to see, I was like, what's the, what's the story here? I was like, hey, do you remember that time you could have hooked up with me or Hugo at that like smash party? And like, uh, like you, you ended up hooking up with me instead of him? Like, what was the deal with that? Because he, he made me feel bad. He said I broke the bro code. So what was your perspective? And she said, and I quote. <laughs> Who the fuck is Hugo? <laughs> Or at the last summit, Hugo was complaining about how he didn't have any content or skits or anything even though he had worked so hard to get there through his campaigning. They decided to give him a slot on the Scar and Tove show. Gets undivided attention from the BTS audience, gets to talk about whatever he wants. He tells a long tale about how Dunk stole a girl from him at a party. At the end of the night, he was holding the girl's hand while she was making out with Dunk. <laughs> That's the story you told? That's the story you told? You're like, ah, man, I have BTS undivided attention. I know what will get me the, the content I want in the future. I know just the story, guys. <laughs> Chillin's here. Chillin, man, wh what an icon. I remember seeing your fox and thinking, man, this guy's going to be a great commentator. Level with me, right? Is, does he look like Beaver Warrior card from Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, <laughs> like, right? It's like almost a self-portrait. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, but speaking of Tafo, 
Tavo, great roast earlier. I was very impressed. Tavo, truly a jack of all trades. Uh, he's a mediocre player, uh, <laughs> decent commentator, uh, an okay streamer. I think he gets some views, uh, and a below average comedian, as we've already seen. So he's really out here. Uh, I think. Honestly, though, his most impressive feat was when he was Mango's coach. I mean, that, that stint was incredible. I don't know how you turn one of the best players in the world into a full-time streamer, but Tafo pulled it off. Have you ever been out with someone who invented something? That's right, Hugs invented the technique known as crouch canceling, which is when you crouch in the corner of the airport and cry after a girl cancels all contact with you. Everybody give it up for Vish. He's doing a great job hosting this event. Like, he's really killing it. But Vish, I gotta come clean. This isn't a roast of Hugo. This is actually an intervention about your style, dude. Like, it's, it's borderline whack. I'm sorry, I, I never had the, the, the strength to tell you, like in real life, but since it's a roast, I gotta hear. Vish, you look like a more lesbian Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like a recalled ethnic Ken doll because they accidentally put the pubes on the chin instead of the balls. <laughs> you know, actually, I think Dunk might be the only person that didn't make a My B joke after I got 5 0 by Leffin. I appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. But truly, I think it's just because Dunk couldn't spell my B. <laughs> That's fair, man. It's pretty tough. Um, in general, though, Dunk is an extremely prominent member of the community. He's about as important to our community as our community is to Nintendo. <laughs> Thank you, Dunk. Thank you. I like to say that Hugs plays Samus because he likes to test himself. And if you're a woman who's ever hooked up with hugs, you should test yourself too. <laughs> chillin' dudes here. Chillin', chillin'. Yeah, everybody give it up for chillin'. Uh, chillin' dude 829, aka Chillin' dude 8 too much, aka the worst, <laughs> aka the worst rapper, dead or alive. AK has a 100% loss rate versus both the guys on that couch in tournament. <laughs> or also known as the original Fendrick Lamar. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Chillin', can you tell me this? Does Team Liquid know that they got scammed yet, or is like the biggest scam <laughs> in esports history still going on right now? Like, uh, it has been a bit tough recently, though, to compete as Hugo. Um, he recently got 3-0'd by La Luna at DreamHack Montreal. I guess La Luna really is as good at eating pussies as his Facebook posts say. I guess so. Hugo, you truly are a legend. You've been in the competitive scene for so long, he still remembers when there were different brackets for the white and black folk. Ah, uh, there it goes. Yo, Hugo, that's my dog. Let's not talk about his sub goal, though. Been a while, once again, spit it while that bar's hot. Hugo getting roasted, but he's still missing charge shots. Still upset, you end up wrecked. Dreffin gets a blessing when he fights you next. Face roll, squid, Polish, and Kezu. They winning it straight through whenever they play you. Don't get it twisted, they're good, I ain't a hater. Guess who's still having nightmares of yayas? Hugs, lots of chew, man, it's hardly some news. His list of free wins always started with you. Only Icy's doing it, that's partly untrue. You know Bop and Hugo takes an army of two. My Samus charge shots even sicker than my freestyles. Hit up Hugo's screen to watch a man go see now. Got me fucked up, far from a young blood. The sub pub looking like a poor man's club club. All right, my beat, that was kind of rude. Really, Hugo's sub count looking hella cute. 
Might be 850, but I'm trying to be nice. Accurately speaking, maybe 829. Rank 15, what the fuck is that about? How is rank 15 barely top three in his house? When it comes to super streams, you're truly the champ. Dating with daddy, more like dating with gramps. Damn, I went hard again, I feel kind of bad. Maybe I should stop, Hugo might be sad. Ah, shit. Fuck that shit, I'm going back in again, you slipping, man. Every tourney that you attend, you got the best practice. You should have this, but you giving true that his free as brackets. Savage, yeah, true, but I'm pushing you. You got KJH, why can't you beat Prince of Boo? It's true. And it found hit like UCF, none in your bracket. He just wants to know who's up next. Talking about the mango and what's really on my mind. Only sober one there, you still placing nine. Blame bitch for talking shit. I got a better question. You didn't drink, so how the fuck you lose to Mega X Men? You wanna come up and you acting all smug now. How do you, Hugo? Have you seen my sub count? Lord 1000, it ain't tricking cause I have it. Let me show y'all a real pink Samus. <laughs> As we got ready for this roast, we started asking the other roasters, like, is there anything that's off limits, something that we shouldn't touch on? And Tafokins, this is an actual quote, he says, please don't make fun of my wife's looks. <laughs> Tafo, what the fuck do you think is going on here? Do you think that you're the good looking one in the relationship? It's, it's gonna be fine, man. It's gonna be okay. Your wife is beautiful. You, on the other hand, you're the only man on the planet who can do an online show with Blur and not be the pretty one. I, I, I just don't understand what she sees in you. I, I've seen more testosterone in PPMD's left nut than I've seen in your whole entire body. Chillin was admittedly a very big guy in 2006, all the way up to about 2013. Then the documentary came out and he lost a ton of weight. Talk about a comeback, dude. It's really good to have you back, man. <laughs> but, but let's talk about your legacy for a second. I, I'm checking my notes, and it says you're like, what, the, the 19th best player ever? Like, like, of all time? The 19th best of all time. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> with, with Mike Hayes in the picture, you're not even the best over six foot, neutral colored fox mane that raps. Yep. You're not even a top five brown smasher out of MDVA, your own city. You're not even a top three commentator on this dais. You're not even the best brown commentator on this dais. Though I, I will admit, you are, you are a top three rapper in the Smash community. But that's like finishing in the top three of a Smash Sisters crew battle. You know, Ludwig was actually super excited. He was practically begging to be the roast master. He wanted to be the roast master, but he changed his mind when I explained to him that the role wouldn't involve the ownership of roast slaves. But he does have some good things going on in his life. For example, his parents pay for absolutely everything. They paid for his house, they paid for his car, they pay for his food, they pay for his school. Do you ever take charge of your own life? Do you ever just take control? No, you don't. In fact, the only reason your fiance shaved her whole head is because there needed to be a real man in the relationship. But, 
But you know what? Daryl is an amazing woman. I know it. You know it. You show it. You show it all the time. You're sprung, man. You're really sprung. In fact, the only person more pussy with than Dunk is Vish in his relationship with Nintendo. <laughs> no, but for real, it's, it's been actually really great having you as a roommate. It's been really dope. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised to see you here and not in some toilet taking a shit. Uh, I'm not kidding. Vish pays about $2,000 a month to spend 80% of his time sitting in my toilet taking a shit. It must be all that Popeye's chicken you keep eating. Uh, I'm not kidding you. I once caught this guy sitting on the shitter with a spicy Popeye's drumstick, <laughs> dipping it into a tub of margarine, telling me that it reminded him of his mother's butter chicken. <laughs> do, do you consider yourself a real Indian after that? Do, do you consider yourself a real Indian? You do? <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> a worldwide study in 2015 concluded that the average dick size of male Indians is approximately 3.5 inches while erect. <laughs> you know what, man? I believe you. I believe you. And you know what, chillin'? I've also noticed a pattern here. I've noticed a pattern with your rapping. You write a diss track about Leffen, and then you write a diss track about me. It seems that Chillin only writes diss tracks about the people that are fucking him. Wait a minute. Wait. That explains why we have yet to hear a diss track about your girlfriend, Shelly. But, you know what, Chillin? You're right. I did get 129th at Evo. But at least I am not best friends with Chew Dat. <laughs> and I know why Chew Dat is always hanging around you. I figured it out. You're the closest thing he's ever going to have to getting close to a pair of big titties.